it's burning all. We'll wait for two more minutes for others to join sessions, and we'll start. Thank you. Good morning, Sri. Yeah, good morning. We'll wait for two more minutes and other to other to join. Yeah. So, Kumar, it's you, right? As you mentioned that you're going to share that uh, post details. Mm, it's not me. It's actually Abhijit. Abhijit. Okay. That's fine. I didn't get the mail communication. That's what I'm Yeah, saying. even I did ask him to uh, make me CC, but uh, still, even I didn't get, might be busy. He's not sent. Do we have a 10 plus of uh, members in this batch? Srini? 20. I heard somewhere. It, told... it is not going to be initially. We need to see after five sessions who is going to be continued in the session. Based on that, we are going to find continue. Yeah, I, I saw somewhere 23 persons are registered. Yeah, in the WhatsApp group, uh, the members are going to join. Uh, those are not. Uh, Part of registration, they are part of just a group membership. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's start. Greetings to all. Good morning. Welcome to AWS Solution Architect Associate Planning Sessions. Srinivas here. As today we discussed about uh, introduction. This is a day two session. So. Let me, before starting, just uh, explaining about uh, basic uh, general information, whoever uh, not joined yesterday, just the basic information. So if at all you are not part of WhatsApp community, you can be part of WhatsApp community and you can register in the WhatsApp community. It is very much important to, to get uh, the regular updates. So at the same time, even if you are not getting the WhatsApp link, wherein you can go to logiclabstech.com, wherein you are in a position to click on upcoming batches. So as soon as you log into the logiclabstech.com, you can click on upcoming batches, wherein you can find the information related to this particular batch, that is batch number 183. Not only this batch, this AWS solution associate uh, Course sessions will be delivered by different faculties. So you'll get uh, what is the time zone the faculty is delivering the sessions. You can see that session timings based on your convenience. Okay, you can register any of the course so that you are in a position to enhance your skills. We are going to provide the trainings on different technologies. Okay, you can choose according to your career path. See here. This particular batch, Amazon Web Services, it is batch number 183, and the trainer Srinivas. And what is the time? You can see the time and all those details. If you are not part of WhatsApp community, you can click here. This is going to redirect. You are going to get a link, WhatsApp part of WhatsApp group link. 
so you can by clicking on this link you can join this whatsapp group this particular site you can access from even from mobile so that you can easily part of whatsapp community by registering there okay so by clicking on upcoming batches you will get a complete list of the trainings which are currently going on and within schedules what is a schedule according to your convenience time you can schedule enroll yourself so not only amazon web services not only me there are other senior faculties delivering the same service so batch number 181 other batch uh, different batches you can go through that for example if you are not in a position to join first five sessions the first five sessions are available in youtube go to logic labs in youtube search logic labs technology you are in a position to get whatever pre recording sessions available there will be uploaded to youtube so without registration also you can review and understand the content of that particular subject and at the same time you can click on what is ongoing batches so we are providing logic labs technology providing different training modules amazon web services azure and devops different python different different training modules so you can go through that free youtube videos and understand the content and you can enroll yeah so coming back to this topic so this is a second session for this batch number 183 so first five sessions will be free that will be uploaded to youtube and you can watch on youtube without any registration and understanding the topics from sixth session onwards it will be zoom link will be shared to only registered participants along with this five sessions and whatever the sessions will be recorded those all five sessions record files will be uploaded to lms graphy that is portal wherein registered participants will get a link wherein the registered participants can play that video recorded video for lifetime so along with that note files will be also available and in addition to that if we have any queries or any issue accessing the portal payment link or anything you can call us on this particular numbers our support team or admin team will be happy to assist you to provide the guidelines our support team admin team available monday to saturday between 9 am to 7 pm ft okay this is a general information that's what yesterday we discussed about a demo session and course details and all those things back to this topic session 2 so if at all technical related any kind of technical related about this batch 183 if you have any concerns related to questions on registration what are it may be you can send a mail communication to my mail id sinuvas@logiclabstech.com and cc2 support@logiclabstech.com one of us will definitely respond to your query and then address in a right time yeah moving ahead just to recap whatever the previous session we discussed about previous session we discussed about introduction as part of introduction explain about myself and a few participants shared their experience what are their expectation on all those things and explain about the course overview and the training procedure you can watch in uh, youtube it is available in youtube you can if you are not get registered you can watch that youtube youtube link yeah and certification part so what is today's agenda we are going to cover certification path once again to explain in detail and register free tier account why it is important we are going to see that let's proceed with topics before proceeding any questions any would like anyone like to introduce yourself you are allowed to speak up i am going to allow everyone to unmute yourself and raise your hand so you can allow to speak yeah any questions before proceeding i allowed our each and every participant to unmute yourself at any point of time it is a kind of interactive session and if okay so you can raise a hand and you can speak up okay 
Thank you. What is certification path? Certification path, what is in this course module, we discussed about what is the certification path, what we are going to cover as part of this training module. That is, we are going to cover as part of this training module AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner and AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate. This is a course about what we are going to learn batch number 183. It is going to talk about uh, fulfill with the AWS Certified Solution Architect mm -hmm. Associate. We are going to cover important services and all those belongs to it is to clear the exam, to prepare the exam, and to crack the interview as a AWS associate. Yeah. What is this AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner? This is going to give you overview by as you are going to understand Certified Solution Architect, you are in a position to configure the services. Whereas in Cloud Practitioner, it is generally useful for managers, sales professionals, wherein they are going to project AWS and get that business deals and all those things. For them, they need to understand what are the services are available so that this AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam is more than enough for them to clear and get the jobs for to attend the sales professional and lead the team managemental team. For them, it is more than enough. They need to no need to go for a Certified Solution Architect Associate. As a VR administrator who are going to be part of certification, so they have to clear the certification. That is AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate. Okay. So let's this particular path. See here, you can access this particular information. I'm going to place this information in the chart window. You can click on and explore. Even no need to go here. You can Google it. So you are in a position to click on this particular thing. I'm going to showcase that. What is the certification part? So here, choose AWS certification path. This is going to give the path. What is the certification you are going to choose? I'm going to click on here. As soon as I click on here, we are going to get a PDF file. We can understand what is the paths are available. Out of which we are covering about this solution architect. This is the certification we are going to talk about. Under this solution architect itself, what we are going to cover as part of this course training. As I said, AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner and at the same time, AWS Solution Architect Associate. These two things are going to cover as part of this training module. And you are able to practice and you can prepare the understand the DOMS and ready to attend the exam. Okay. What is that Solution Architect Professional? This is a specialization about in deep configuration, designing, and all those things are going to come into picture. And what is that specialization? It is comes under DevOps, specialization, specific specialization of the specific services in deep drive. So once you are going to understand, you are happy to go any of this particular course modules, you can attend the any kind of exam. It is based on your understanding and practice. Okay. There is no dependency that I need to complete a practitioner first and go with associate. And at the same time, if you are able to understand the topics, are able to get an expertise in this particular AWS, you can directly go for attend the exam of professional as well. There is no dependency to go attend the exam. There is no pre-requirement. Once you have the knowledge, once you go through the dumps, once you practice the things, you are happy to attend any of the exam. Okay. This is all about certification. Any doubts on this certification part? Everyone is allowed to unmute yourself and speak up. Mm -hmm. If you are not able to unmute, let me know. I am allow you to unmute. 
Any doubt on the certification part? Okay, let's move on. So, next one, what is the exam details? In the same link, the certification exam guides and details. The only thing is that you need to drop down here. What is this certified cloud practitioner? What is the exam cost? What is the exam pattern? What is the details? See here. So it is temporarily unavailable. Okay. You can you can understand by going to this particular site and you can go through that content. What is the exam? What is the exam cost? What is that? For example, cloud practitioner is a hundred dollars you need to pay. And there are questions, uh, multiple choice questions available. And you can clear this exam by understanding the concepts of AWS solution architect. Yeah, clear. Now, what we are going to do the next topic is in our agenda. Register free tier account. What is the importance of register free tier account? For everyone, whoever attending this AWS certification course or attending this training module. They are need to practice. It is not just like listening and leave the topic. We have to go through. What is Kumar? What you mentioned? No. Sorry, you was asking any doubt on certification part, right? So that's okay. what it is. That's fine. Okay. So what is the importance of this particular free tier account? This training module, it is a kind of practice and live session. I'm going to log into that portal and I'm going to showcase how to access the different services. For that to practice, you need to practice. Simply listening and leaving the topic is not going to help you guys, okay? Whatever the things you are, we are presenting here as part of this training, it is your responsibility to do go and practice, okay? Go and click on AWS Management Console. As soon as you click on AWS Management Console, you are going to get the management interface of AWS. Okay. You need to click on AWS Management Console and you need to sign into the console. Okay. As soon as I'm going to click on the sign into console, we are going to allow to register. If you don't have account, in this particular login page, you are allowed to register, create a new AWS account. I already prepared a document wherein what are the details we need to present, what are the details we need to en enroll. As I already registered, okay, what are the pre requirements to register this account? This is first thing is that this is absolutely free and there is no charges. But to register this account, we need to provide a debit and credit card details. That's what I'm going to explain here. What are the details we need to mention? Mandatory requirements, mail ID, your personal mail ID, and debit or credit card details to enter payment details, and your mobile number. You are going to get a SMS to identify your account detail and address billing address you can mention any address doesn't matter the most important thing is that mail id and these three are mandatory without these three you are not in a position to register free tier account on aws portal what is this importance of the free tier account you are going to get practice you have to practice without practice you are not in a position to navigate where this option is available, how to access that particular option and all those things. Okay, let's present this session. This is a file which I'm going to share and upload to this LLMS portal and wherein you are going to access. See here, clear document procedure is available. You can register, click on signing to management console. The next phase is that you are going to get, click on, this create new AWS account. As soon as we can new AWS account, the first ask is your email ID. See, sign up for AWS root as and mail ID address. Because without mail ID address, you are not in a position to go further steps. It is a combination of five steps procedure to register a free tier account. Okay, 
I'm going to explain what is a Freetar account. Even I'm using the Freetar account and delivering the sessions by using the same Freetar account. Okay. There is no minimum charge. There is no charge at all. Whatever the charge initially it is going to detect, it will be refunded. That is just a two rupees. It is going to detect from your, it is just authentication. You are validating your card details to and detect two rupees. Once validation is completed, the same two rupees will revert after two or three working days. Okay. So what are the details you need to mandatorily enter? See here, this will be user ID to log in AWS. Whatever the mail ID you are going to mention, that mail ID, it is going to be mentioned. You are going to be, that is a root user ID. Okay. And whatever the main see here, I mentioned that scene was at logiclabstech.com. That is my mail ID and scene was AWS, my account name. And as soon as you click on verify email address, you are going to get a code and then you need to enter that code. See here, that code and enter verify so that you are in a position to go for next. Okay. Like this, mail ID address is the first mandatory requirement to proceed further steps. Once mail ID is verified, the next action is you are going to create a password. That is, as I said, it is a five step procedure to register your Freetar account. Okay. This document will be uploaded for each and every one. So you are getting a login and register with this Freetar account. Okay. What are the details? What are the important information you need to mention? Everything you need to clearly detail information has to be provided. It is provide clear information what action you need to perform. It is the simplest process. It is not a, a complex process, simple process. Okay. Only thing is that you need to put all the details, mandatory details, everything in this portal. Okay. So once you provide the pass to set the password and uh, confirm the password, continue with the step one to five, one of five. So the next phase, it is going to ask complete details. You should not leave any field blank. Whatever the aspect is available, you need to complete all the details without miss. See here, in this particular sign up for AWS and the contact information, you need to choose. It is not a business requirement. It is a personal requirement. This is very much important while creating account. You need to select personal for own projects. You need to choose this. By default, it is going to select business. You need to modify this to personal use. And then what is the full name and the mobile number? This is a mobile number. You need to choose the country code. Without choosing country code, it is not going to be possible to proceed with the understanding that mobile number. And why we are going to mention mobile number, it is going to authenticate by sending the SMS to that mobile number. Okay, it is not possible to mention unknown number and then get go forward. It is not possible. So mail ID is important. You are going to get a code to the mail ID. At mm -hmm. the same time, mobile number is important to get a SMS code. Okay, so all these details you need to mention. Telangana, Hyderabad, whatever the details you are going to mention. At the same time, you have to accept the license agreement. I have read and agree terms of conditions of AWS customer agreement. Okay. Once this is done, the next process of going to further steps, continue step two of five. In step two of five, it is going to ask for billing information. What is the billing information? This is a place where you need to enter your debit card and credit card details. No worry, it is a secured connection and it is no yeah, kind of malfunction it is going to happen. Uh, we can mention the credit or debit card with details. It is going to just detect two rupees. Why it is detecting two rupees? For uh, India, it is two rupees. For US, it is going to detect one US, one dollar. Once it is detected, why it is detecting? To validate your credit details and card details and authentication details and all those things, able to successfully transact transaction complete successfully, mm -hmm. then you are proceed to next action. So 
you can happily enter the details credit card or debit card without debit card credit card there is no option to proceed further to register this account it is a mandatory requirement if you are would like to continue first thing is that you need to enroll for this course that is what is the important the second thing is that register filter account is also equally important either of missing you are not in a position to learn the topics okay we are here to help you to guide you to enhance your skills okay so these two things are mandatory first one is enrolling for this particular course and second one is register for free tier account okay without free tier account you cannot perform any action simply reviewing the video and understanding the concept it is not going to work guys it is a technology hands on practice is very very important okay so the same contact billing address you can choose and then if you have pan card you can enter the pan card and verify continue step number 3 to 5 then it is going to ask whenever it is going to detect it is you are going to get a otp and a otp while entering otp the passcode you are entering make sure what is the amount it is showing in your message while getting a otp message it is going to show it is going to detect 2 rupees it is going to detect only 2 rupees for i am outside country of india maybe 2 1 dollar okay that's the only payment it is going to detect for validating the transaction once it is done your amount whatever the 2 rupees whatever the 1 dollar will be returned refund that's the reason it is a free tier account it is just to validate the things okay so while entering the otp here whatever the otp you are going to enter just make sure that payment it is showing as a 2 rupee or 1 dollar yeah then proceed to payment confirmation and once payment confirmation is done again it is going to validate your identity by asking for mobile number to send the text messages or to send a voice call to get the code okay once you are going to get the code you are going to complete this sms validation and then proceed with the continue step number 4 to 5 okay and then final step is just you need to at the first point we selected in the first page we selected personal use that is personal use we selected the same option again you are going to get a drop down here you need to choose the personal use this is a final step and individual okay it is not a complete individual that's it you are completed your free tier account without any hassle okay so you are happy to log into this what are the password you set for this particular use root user okay and final step is the plan what is the plan you need to choose as it is a free tier account we are registering we need to choose plan of basic support plan basic support plan what are the training entire training winter module after the training of this five weeks training after five weeks also you are going to get enough time to practice one year free tier account this is guys this is one year free tier account how you are going to practice how many hours you are going to practice you can replicate the same thing in your resume in your profile that much expertise i have if you crack the interview that's more than enough no need to have a real time experience in the cloud technology how you are going to practice where the service is available how to enable that service okay what is the free tier limitations we are going to see that so for that practice you should have this free tier account it is a mandatory so this is a basic support free tier account you need to choose this basic support and then complete the sign up that's it okay once this successfully completed you are in a position to get after three working days you are going to get a 2 rupees back to your account your debit card or credit card this is all about free tier account details any doubts on this free tier account so in this plan so if we go for a developer support firm uh, for a 29 dollars per month uh, 
Mm -hmm. So, will it give any additional features, or it is the same for same features will provide on the Amazon website, even the basic support free account also? This developer support means, if at all, if you have any issues on this uh, AWS console, for example, you created a service mm -hmm. and that service is not working, then where do you contact? For example, in Twitter account, mm -hmm. you create a service and if it is not working, you are going to delete and you can recreate. Okay. For example, it is a practice session. You can create and delete whatever the 10 number of times. But whereas in developer support, you are hosting a service and the service cannot be deleted. So the service hosted service is not working. So you need a support. So Amazon in the support executive is going to provide a solution that be email support, base support, and all those things. Okay. Yeah. If you go for that plan, we'll get a support also. Support from the AWS associate. We can can we upgrade this plan if I currently I'm taking this free. Yes, yes. Plan. We can upgrade it later also, right? Yes, yes. See, okay. this pre tier account is, a, I'm going to explain what are the pre tier limitations. This pre tier account is more than sufficient uh, to get expertise. You are not going to, as you are an administrator, as you already working a 15 years of experience, you are aware of each and every component in an IT infrastructure. Correct. So you are in a position to understand where to go, how to get the details. Mm -hmm. Okay. So where it is going to be get uh, support is required. Some features are restricted to Twitter account restricted. You cannot go behind that Twitter limitation. And you cannot get the support from the, uh, if any issue is going to come in future, it is your own understanding and your own troubleshooting. You need to fix that issue. If it is not working, you delete it and create it by following the best procedure. That's it. Okay. 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 Thank you. At any moment, you can upgrade the plan. Okay, it's up to your wish. Cloud is the pay as you go model, as you know. So, whatever the service you are looking for, it is absolutely built after that practice. Okay, this is a free tier details. What is the free tier details? You can go search engine, open the search engine, Amazon free tier account details. This chart window, I'm going to post this information. You can click on this link. That is also provide the same information. See here, the beauty of this Twitter account is once you register, see here, 12 months free, 12 months free, nearly one year. So what are the things you are going to get as part of this Twitter? You are going to get a Twitter as part of this Twitter details. Important thing is that you are going to get, see here, under compute. The most of the activities you are going to create instances. You are going to deploy server, EC2 instances. How we are going to deploy, how we are going to configure. This is 750 hours per month, not year. It is per month. Guys, how many hours you need to practice per month to get that EC2 with deployment, the redeployment, number of instances. 750 hours per hour month means it is amazing. So it is up to you how you utilize and how you are going to practice. Okay. Amazon S3, while discussing about free tier S3 storage content, storage details, we are going to experience what is this free tier, what is the limitation. See here, we are going to get a free tier account for each limitation. What is the limitation? 5 GB of storage you are going to get. What is a Google storage you are going to get a Gmail along with Gmail? You are registered Gmail account. What is the free storage you are going to get? 100 GB, I guess. 100 GB for special cases. Only 15 GB you are going to get a normal users. Okay. 15 GB out of 15 GB, how many times we can copy data? How many times we can retrieve the data? Okay, it is n number of times. Whereas in this particular Amazon storage, it is going to provide 5 GB of standard storage. What is standard storage? We are going to discuss about while discussing about S3 and S3 storage architecture and all those things we are going to understand. By understanding the concept, what is this 20,000 get request, 2,000 put request? Okay. For each and everything, for a DB engineer, 
DB's uh, guy, DB database administrator is there. In database administrator to create an instance, to create an instance in database, one table to create, I need, they need to create an instance. To create an instance, what they need? First, they need to deploy OS, they need to deploy a, a SQL Server installation or Oracle installation. Once then that is done, they are in a position to create an instance. But here in the cloud, straight away you are going to get the service, whatever the way. See, these are the database services are available for free. How many hours? 750 hours of RDC single agent. These are the different terminologies. We are going to understand what is this terminology, what is the intensity, and all those things. See here. 20 GB of general purpose SSD database storage. 20 GB of storage database backups. You can configure backup, how to configure backup, how to restore the database. All those things you can practice with free. That is 750 hours per month. Imagine. So it is up to you how you are going to utilize this free tier account and then practice. Okay, once you are going to explore all these details, you are happy to showcase yourself as a AWS architect associate and you can track the interview, whatever the topics you are going to learn. Okay, so this is all about free tier limitations. We are going to log into the console now. We are we already successfully registered. Once you are successfully registered, you are going to log into this AWS console management console. Any doubt on free tier accounts, any details you would like to know on this free tier account and uses of the free tier account? Any questions? Hope you are following me. It is a kind of interactive session. Please open up and then discuss. It might be a silly question, doesn't matter. I am going to learn from that silly question itself. Okay. Not only me. Others also get a different ideas. Okay. Your ideas are going to enhance the skills and think in that different direction. Why, why can't we go? Why I'm not thinking in that direction? Okay. For each and every idea, it gives a different ideas, different directions of solution. Why we are learning this AWS certification, AWS course? Because to enhance the skills. How to enhance skills, not only technical knowledge. For each solution there are different directions how different directions each one has a different ideas to get to that particular place okay please speak up it is an interactive session it is not one way okay please keep in that mind so i already registered i have an account with my id that is seen was at logiclabstech.com so what we are going to do, we understand that what is how to create a free tier account and what is a free tier account limitations, everything we understood. Now I'm going to log in. While logging, you need to choose root user. What is this root user? Whoever are going to register the account. By default, they are going to get a root user, whatever the mail ID you are going to mention while registering the account. So you are going to get root user. What is a root user? You are going to create your own services. You are going to deploy different creations, projects, and all those things on your own way, okay? With following best recommended approaches and within free tier limitations, okay? For while working on everything, we are going to explain how to create. At the end, we are going to explain how to stop, how to terminate that service to avoid any billing. It is not only deploying. The cloud portal is very much easy to use. At the same time, it is very complex if you are not in a position to use in a right manner. The best example is credit card. Limitation will be there 5 lakhs. 5 lakhs limitation is there. You spend like anything. At the end, uh, month end, if you are not in a position to pay that bill, it is going to shoot up your credit limits and it impacts your financial. So it is ADA cloud is also similar thing. Limitations, if you follow limitations within that limitations, no extra, not even one paisa it is going to charge for you. Okay, 
as part of this planning we are going to implement services at the same time at the end of the session we are going to explain how to terminate okay so we need to practice implement and terminate if you implement and forget and close the laptop because of power failure whatever it may be you close the lid and next day you are coming and log in and see that your free time limit will be exceeded okay please make sure understand the topic and follow the process so that you are allowed to practice as per your wish at the same time to avoid billing as well okay let me log into this aws management console this is already registered the registered document is already um, mentioned to you the same while registering my email id and i provided my credit card details and they have successfully registered i am able to log in with the same email id so next the enter the password what are the password you said here we go this is the management console the aws management console okay in this management console what is the concepts we are going to learn first it is a just explore to provide how the aws management console look like okay we are going to deploy service while deploying the service we are going to understand some basic concepts of theory and then explore that respective service now we successfully registered free tier account and we are able to log in with that free tier account details now what are the services see here these are different services for each administrator for each person in it infrastructure it infrastructure is not a single component it infrastructure has a different components all together what is the different components it infrastructure tell anyone please you what is it infrastructure systems servers storage network what else data center these are all different different it infrastructure components each and every component has a sub component for example servers we have servers of windows linux so say different different flavors for each server it is going to provide storage different different storages are there sand storage is there nas storage is there different types of storage what is the fundamental get into that respect to service what we are going to get why we are going for sam why we are going for nas if you understand this concept the same concept is replicated in cloud to get that desired function okay so what is this aws management console these are all the it infrastructure at any size from the minimum one size to max enterprise workloads and it doesn't matter what workload it is the cloud provider is suitable for any kind of workloads so it is up to you how you are going to choose according to the deployment see these many services out of analytics application integration aws cost management blockchain business applications whatever the service why we are looking for a, a particular system we are looking for a mobile why you are purchasing a mobile to use one application to call friends to call relatives Elias, yes, right? Yes, please. Yeah, uh, the voice is you know breaking middle of while well, you are speaking. Is it clear now? It's good now. Yeah. Okay. See now, compute. If we select compute, what we are going to understand under compute? EC two. In EC two itself, there are different functions in EC two itself. E two dashboard. See here. instances auto scaling groups dedicated host elastic ips instances key pair security groups for each services what is required what to get how do we configure what is the importance of to configure the respective service 
as part of important services we just mentioned ec2 but ec2 has a sub components of these many components we are going to experience and we are going to deploy where it is deployed where what are the things other required okay see here under ec2 dashboard itself load balancer target groups network elastic black storage store all those things are going to come as part of this ec2 okay how we are going to deploy what to practice and all those things we are going to see go to services this is only under this compute itself ec2 is one point under ec2 again sub components okay similar way database and what are the services we are going to experience where it is going to come how what is related to the our training module that's what we are going to learn about this aws management console and services okay to understand the services we need to understand the basics first okay what is it infrastructure without understanding it infrastructure it is you are not in a position to understand a uh, cloud what is it infrastructure what is why we are looking for it first of all what is the requirement the requirement is going to understand it is going to come into picture it is going to come into picture user application os and system what is this os is application os system what is this os user and application system a yeah, user is there user different users are there all these users need to access some ircpc website that is why they are looking for ircpc website to book a train ticket okay to book a train ticket so what they need first of all they need a mobile device or a computer system they need some system for their connect to the device they are going to have this specific device to each one of either mobile device either computer laptop whatever it may be what they are going to use they are going to use this system to open the browser they are going to open the browser okay how they are going to get open the browser and then what they are going to type respect to website information where it is going to land it is going to connect where it is going to connect for them to clear these many users that it infrastructure has to place a web server right this is a web server they are going to place this web server what is how they are going to communicate from the user to this web server the communication is required how they are going to establish communication to this web server so they need to log in and they need to establish communication to that web server for this web server is it a simple job it is not a simple web server but to prepare this web server what is the things are required what are the things are required First server one, os and application os how it is a layer one by one first where it is going to come user application where this application is going to deploy server application for each and everything application is required that opening your application where it is going to for example you have a mobile device on that mobile device are you able to open phone pay application without android os or mac os it is not possible what is required here to get an application first operating system is required to get a operating system what is required hardware is required right a system hardware is nothing but a system once hardware is there i need to have the os and then i need to configure the application and then i need to ask give the communication to that end users this is the way how the requirement is going to derive from the requirements first user how many users are looking for that application now you are attending this training you are part of this training these many users are joining this session and i am delivering the session so how i am going to deliver the session by zoom link where the zoom link is available on a os on os to install os i need a laptop or a system okay so that's where the requirement is going to come into picture what is the understanding it infrastructure in this particular layer user it is just not a user user is need to get some requirement he need to book a ticket he need to send a transaction bank transaction 
what application to install that application what os to be installed to install respective os what system i need to deploy what hardware i need to choose okay so what is a system system is nothing but combination of a motherboard a processor memory some portion of storage and network can you imagine without any of this component after these five can you imagine will you able to establish communication for example storage is not there where the files are going to store how it is going to establish it? without installing operating system i cannot install application so where this application is operating system is going to install it is a hard disk how it is going to send the communication is it sending the communication with the storage itself no it is request yeah. network communication so a system is nothing but these five components on this system we are going to install operating system and once operating system installed operating system is going to handle this application instructions and then application instructions so users are going to access through a communication this is a cycle in it infrastructure in this entire cycle what are the different administrative in the entire cycle different layers of administrator one is wintel administrator one is linux administrator one is data center operation right and all those things now what we are going to understand here for example i am going to give a job to you i need a i need to install one application so what are the things you need first i need a system i need to purchase a system and then i need to download the os either microsoft uh, server os or linux os or any other software i need to download first i need to purchase a system system may be 30k os download os i can download free at the same time to get a license support i need to spend some amount say 10k rupees and then it is not a just installation i need to configure i should have a skills to configure that os okay so i need a administrator to perform this operation i need to pay some amount maybe 10k and then once it is a os is not only enough i need to install purchase the application what is the application for example ms office microsoft office i need to open microsoft word or need to prepare my resume to prepare that word itself i need this system required operating system is required to configure that operating system some admin person is required i am going to install application application license again costing you 5 to 10 lakh 5 to 10000 once application is ready how much time you are going to spend not only money how much time you are going to spend so for one system itself you are going to spend this much of amount it is upfront cost upfront cost to get a simple word application i need a mobile device mobile device also i need to spend 10000 rupees it is going to pre configure each and everything but if you want to do some modifications on all those things i need a specific application to get that specific application i need all these things to avoid this upfront cost this is for one user imagine i am going to start a business i am going to start a business i need a space to deploy a organization how many servers i am going to deploy how many staff i am going to deploy it is an increasing upfront cost to start a business i need a service he is going to purchase he has to sell the product from a tomatoes or a mangoes he need to sell to sell that mangoes whatever the crop he is getting to sell that you need to build a environment you need to make it online to make it online purchase sales what you need to do you need to build the systems you need to in uh, recruit staff and need to maintain network isp provider and all those things it is uh, everything is up front cost to sell just mangoes the mangoes it is just for one season after which whatever the investment is going to do everything is going to be up front cost so to sell the mangoes you can directly what is looking only website that website can be deployed in the cloud 
without very less cost with very less cost okay for example system itself what are the system we are going to talk about the system itself i am going to deploy within free free to few clicks how we are going to deploy ec2 i am into the services i am going to compute i need a server i don't need a system i no need to purchase a system no need to look for operating system no need to look for admin to configure that operating system in cloud as soon as you log into this cloud portal just launch instance and it is going to give you the different options see here i can deploy amazon linux i can deploy mac os if you install mac os i need a special operating special system to purchase mac book mac notebook or mac system how cost it is now i can deploy easily with mac os select mac os and i can practice in this particular session this is monthly 750 hours free for example windows i am not sure what is windows i can deploy windows see here only thing is that you need to choose this free tier eligibility there are different options are available only choose we are going to deploy this free tier account how to deploy how to what are the things we are going to configure everything we are going to see in next session how to deploy ec2 instances okay with a simple way without any additional upfront cost i'm going to deploy i'm going to log into the server i can perform what are the action it i'm looking for it is absolutely free no need to do upfront cost not even single rupee i'm going to spend to install an operating system to log into the operating system okay so we are going to deploy ec2 instance tomorrow session any doubts until this any clarification any doubts any clarification hello good morning sir good morning dharmendra sir please uh, share the link of free tier accounts for creating the accounts the file you are going to ask uh, yes sir okay so whoever is uh, looking for it is going to upload uh, this free tier account details will link so what i am going to do share your mail id send a mail id to my email id that is my mail email id is Greenwas at logiclabstack dot com. So oh, okay. okay, sir. Okay, okay. Okay, you can yes. send a mail to here, and I am able to send that uh, reply to that mail communication. I am going to attach that uh, document, so you can log in and verify uh, register your free tier account. Okay, no, sir. Or sure, else sir. you can click on this uh, free tier account Google search the Google. how to register it is so simple following the process it is step by step process it is easy no you no need to look for document you can search the google and understand there are different ways of to register every step is a clear instructions available to get that importance how to register free tier account okay you okay. can send a mail communication to me if at all you are looking for my uh, document this document will be uploaded to that uh, lms portal wherein you are in a position to get complete access so it is mandatory requirement uh, to register this course and all for this course again this five free sessions available free and six session onwards and what are the files we are going to upload this note files and this kind of files everything will be available for registered participants now this is a uh, a complimentary that what are the file i am going to share to the directly to participants you can register free tier account to understand the concepts yeah sure sir sure. thank you any other questions any other queries abhijit uh, you mentioned that you are going to send a mail about uh, different course concepts Yeah, I was occupied with some things, sir. Uh, sir, I will send it today, probably. Yeah, Kumar also waiting for your mail. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Abhijit. Okay, that's all for today. If there are no other queries or concerns, we are good to close this session. Thanks for all your time. So, setting up a three-tier account is a different thing from any other account. What is it? 
a 3 tier account setting is different from any other account setting in general what you have explained today no three tier account does the same thing we can proceed three tier registration by on screen instructions available you can directly register your account no registering an account and registering a three tier account is there two different things or is the same thing same thing same thing we i am keep on selling that register account you need to register in amazon website that i got it that is registration itself it is a free tier whatever the choosing the plan in the document i mentioned that personal use and the basic plan we need to choose the basic plan as soon as we choose the basic plan it is eligible under free tier account okay okay the registration is mandatory to do practice the, yeah i know that for this particular course whatever the course you are going to learn the free tier account is more than enough you can finish the exam you can get the certification with this free tier account by doing the practice by going to the different different articles n number of kb articles are available we are here to provide a practical training you are and mentioning a free tier account or a three tier account free 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 f r w e right f r w e not a yeah tier. okay free okay tier. okay good question <laughs> okay that's all for today if no other questions we will meet you tomorrow thanks for all your participation have a great day